I believe, as mayor, the number one job, bar none, is assuring public safety in times of emergency. City and state officials recently unveiled updated evacuation maps to include extreme tsunami zones, just in case Oahu is hit by waves generated by a magnitude 9 earthquake or higher. We have that potential, and we need to be ready. On the map, the extreme tsunami zone is colored in yellow. It does not replace a current tsunami evacuation zone, but adds a second zone for an extreme event. The pink is the traditional evacuation zone. As you can see, it goes up to the Alawai Canal for the most part and stops. You have a little bit of an area where you don't have to evacuate, where it's a little higher ground. In the extreme tsunami, an omega tsunami, as you can see, parts of it go all the way up to H1. All of these residents here living in, you know, single-story homes, in some cases, need to know they need to evacuate. This particular extreme event is low probability, but as you can see on these particular maps, has a potential for a very high impact. Under an extreme tsunami event, emergency officials say about 330,000 Oahu residents will need to go to higher ground. That's up from 90,000. That's one-third of our population, so that is of definite concern to us. In Kailua, you see it goes back one street, now it goes all the way back to Kauai Nui Marsh and all of Kailua and the Shannon Lakes is in danger in an extreme mega tsunami. The current evacuation maps were developed in 1991 and updated in 2010. However, after the 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami, emergency officials here say there is a newly recognized risk of a tsunami coming from the Aleutian Islands. Just a sobering thought, the tsunami of 1946, which is the biggest and most damaging in our recent history, that energy actually, that was just a glancing blow. That energy went slightly to our east. So if you take the 1946 source and move it 150 miles or so further to the west, then it's pointed right at us. And, and that's the event that, that we're worried about. The March 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami was a wake-up call for emergency management. Japan is one of the most uh, prepared, one of the best prepared countries in the world when it comes to tsunamis. However, they prepared for a 100-year event. All of their seawalls, all of their evacuation zones, all of their procedures were based off what they knew had happened in the past. And the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami was much greater than what had happened in the past, and that shows us the need to look for those things that are outside the norms. The city is also urging residents to download the free smartphone app called Ready Hawaii. So I'll pull up the tsunami evacuation zone map. Right now, this map is tied into NOAA. It will take my location and it'll show me where the tsunami evacuation zone is highlighted in red here. The Disaster Preparedness mobile app will give you weather and public health alerts, shelter information, evacuation zone information, and it also allows families to create their own disaster plan.